Hi, this is Mark Verschep. I'm one of the tech coaches at Georgetown County School District. And today what I'm going to do is kind of walk some of our PLTW launch teachers through how to go ahead and roster their classes and their PLTW. Um, once I log into my PLTW.org, I'm going to go ahead and click up here on My Sites. Once I click on My Sites, you're going to notice that um, you'll see schools over on uh, this right hand side over here and again one of them will be listed as your site so you just click on that site once you're inside that site um, if you're the first teacher to go ahead and roster your students you'll notice that there won't be any classes listed so what you'll do is you'll click on roster students um, they actually have a link right here in their directions the PLTW student roster instructions uh, if you click on this, I've got it opened up here, it's actually a pretty good step-by-step -step manual. Uh, it's about five pages long, and it walks you through exactly what it is that you need to do. Um, again, it, it's really detailed. When you get down to page three, you can actually see what it is that they're telling you as far as the class code, um, you know, and what it is that you're going to need to fill in in each column. So if you kind of take a look as I scroll down again, they show you exactly what it is that you need to fill in each column. I would recommend highly reading through these five pages and using it as a guide. However, if you want the video version, um, what you'll do is after this, you'll go ahead and you'll see this student roster template. When I click on this, it is going to download. Um, you'll notice mine's downloaded here, and I'm going to pull it open. And inside this, you're going to see um, it's a CSV file, so it's uh, like an Excel file. It's basically, you've got teacher email, so you'll put your email, um, the course, and again, you saw those the course codes on that sheet. I think it was on page four um, and page five, maybe. Uh, you'll see the course begin date, course end date, student first name, last name, the grade level, student state ID number, the gender, and the date of birth. Um, most of this information here can be found um, either under PowerSchool or Enrich for those students. And again, you'll go ahead and, and enter your entire roster as a launch teacher. When you do that, you'll go to File, um, and you'll Save As, and you'll want to make sure that when you save this, that um, again, you want to make sure that it is a CSV file, and then hit Save. After saving it, you're going to notice that oops, you're going to notice then down here it says to choose the file. So then I'll um, click on choose and I'll find that file location and then I'll go ahead and click on submit. Upon submission, what you'll notice then is that, um, and again I'll head back here, right up here in this inbox um, you'll get a notification and there's basically three notifications you'll receive. One is going to be uh, if there are any errors and it'll actually tell you specific errors that you made on um, that roster sheet, so on that CSV file. If you made specific ones it'll tell you in line seven you made a mistake um, and you can go back in, correct those mistakes and then resubmit. After the data is correct, if it was all correct, you'll receive a notification saying that everything um, was successful and then you'll receive a third a second notification then saying um, that you now have a class uploaded um, again under here under your classes so again the way that I got here um, when I went to my PLTW and I logged in I'm gonna go to my sites and then under my sites I'm gonna click on my school and I can click on rosters and again you'll see all that information right in there so good luck rostering your classes.